onboard water. Open the door, open the nozzle, and you just put a garden hose in there and fill it up. Okay, so you would only have that full when you're gonna be uh, somewhere where you don't have water. Yeah. Somewhere where you don't have water, you wanna make sure you have a little bit of water for toilet flushing and stuff like that while you're traveling. Okay. Put some water in that. I recommend on keeping it full. It's a lot of extra weight to carry. Do you put paper and stuff down the toilet? Yes, uh, but you want to buy uh, camper paper. It dissolves. Okay. And doesn't get hung up on the floats and on the valves and stuff like that. Wet wipes, anything like that. Uh, female products are all a no-no in the tank. None of that. Okay. This is where the gas is. This compartment, when you're when you're stopped, you're done using your water that's in the tank. You want to drain this tank out. Open the ball valve, let it drain itself down. Close the ball valve back. Okay, and so the red, that's just a shut off. This is a drain for the uh, for cold weather for piping. So that'll drain the piping. Gotcha. gotcha. Um, but if you're going to be in cold weather, you still have to go through a winterization and put and put. Um, antifreeze in the pipes okay so i noticed you didn't chalk the wheels or anything like that nope. okay and then some people um get covers for the wheels or put wood underneath mm -hmm. and all that do you recommend any of that if you're going to be sitting anywhere for for a length of time the, the covers over the wheels will keep them from drying out in the sun um and what i what i do like and i have a i have the set at the house that goes with the motorhome i'll give them to you I have wood blocks that the gentleman made that go underneath the outriggers. So if you're going to be on um, asphalt that's hot or real soft uh, ground, you can put those under it and it'll help the feet not sink in. Okay, outriggers being, what do you say outrigger you mean? The leveling pistons. Oh, so you put wood underneath the leveling pistons. Yes, if you're pistons. going to be on something soft and you find that your piston's starting to push in the, into the ground rather that than one, standing yeah. up on top. Gotcha. There's blocks of woods that the gentleman who I got the okay. motor home front made that are real nice. I'll give them to you. All right, fantastic. Um, let's cycle that up one again. Okay, so are there internal um, mirror controls, or do you do those from the outside? I guess yeah, you don't have to move them very often. And they also, once they're set up for you, you don't have to move. There's internal mirror controls, they are power, and they also have heaters in them should you find yourself in cold weather and your mirrors are freezing. All right. And that's done over here. Simply this controls the right mirror when it has the R up. Gotcha. That controls the left mirror when the L's up. In the middle, in case you hit the buttons, it won't move your mirrors. And this is the heater for the mirrors. Gotcha. Usually the hot water heater is Deb inside here, me outside going, try it again, mm -hmm. try it again. And once it gets propane to it, it'll light itself and stay lit. Occasionally you'll get a, if you get real heavy winds, it can blow it out. You'll see the pilot light out, sign up. Okay. Is there a way to light it outside? No. So it's this, electronic. Is, this is all you got? It's electronic. It's controlled by a control panel and okay. it's all electronically controlled. Microwave just runs on electric? Yeah. Okay. So either generator or um, or being plugged in will run the uh, will run the microwave. And again, no, 